Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. I copy, even star. You're clear. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. research facility in the Hades Gamma Cluster was the victim of an attack by biotic extremists. Drugged researchers were used as human shields, and there were several civilian casualties in the ensuing Alliance raid. The facility is expected to reopen soon, with tighter security measures in place. I'm already getting readings! This is gonna make a great story! Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. I did this as a favor, Ms. Wong. You're on your own now. Of course, Commander Shepard. I won't trouble you any further. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher.
Excuse me! You're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Yeah, cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. But many of your subordinates make this a point of race, not politics. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Turian Space Board is yours. Of course we're concerned about your leadership. Stay out of this. Yes, Commander. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. But many of your subordinates make this a point of race, not politics. Excuse me, I don't believe you... Turian Space Board is yours. Of course we're concerned about... Stay out of this. Yes, Commander. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. Pardon me, soldier. Could I take a moment of your time? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. 
All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant! Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant, I... I just need one more boost. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I, I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll... I'll get help. I, I'm just sorry it came to this. I saw your fellow's report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. I'm the one who destroyed the Thorian. I don't remember seeing you around. We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. But we each serve humanity in our own way. You can't escape interstellar politics. It's part of the big picture, and sometimes it isn't pretty. Just ignore him, Shepard. The Ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes with the job. Yes, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. The Earth-Clan Spectre has returned to speak with me. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth-Clan. I've got three days of paperwork to finish by the end of my shift today. I gave you what you wanted, Shepard. We have nothing more to discuss. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, have you changed your mind? Terra Firma could use your support in the election. refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. 
How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in CSEC. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed.
Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved.
So tell me, who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? Do Krogan size up everyone for a fight, even friends and allies? Yes. It's good movie.
on my way. the last of them. Securing point. <laughs> 